Louise Hall Tharp's book, The Peabody Sisters of Salem, is a captivating literary analysis that explores the lives of three remarkable women who contributed significantly to American culture and society. The book follows the lives of Elizabeth, Mary, and Sophia Peabody, daughters of a prosperous Salem family, from their childhood to their adulthood, and the significant contributions they made to literature, art, and education. Tharp's literary analysis of the Peabody sisters' lives delves into their relationships with each other and the people around them. The book highlights the sisters' support for each other in their intellectual and creative pursuits, as well as their individual journeys towards achieving their goals. Tharp presents the sisters as a cohesive unit, each with their unique talents, but always working together to support each other's endeavors. One of the central themes of the book is the sisters' contributions to American literature. Tharp details Elizabeth Peabody's efforts to establish a bookstore that served as a hub for the Transcendentalist movement, where writers such as Ralph Waldo Emerson and Nathaniel Hawthorne gathered. Tharp also highlights Mary Peabody's involvement in the Transcendentalist movement as a writer, editor, and translator. Mary translated the work of influential German writers such as Goethe and Schiller, introducing their works to an American audience. Sophia Peabody, the youngest sister, is also featured prominently in the book, with Tharp analyzing her work as an artist and how her paintings were influenced by the Romantic movement. Another key theme of the book is the Peabody sisters' role in education. Tharp details Elizabeth's work as a teacher, establishing the first English-language kindergarten in the United States. She also founded the Concord School of Philosophy, which hosted lectures and discussions on philosophical topics. Mary was also a teacher, and her experiences led her to write educational texts for children. Sophia, too, was involved in education, working as a teacher and tutor. Tharp also explores the sisters' relationships with the men in their lives. Elizabeth's relationship with the educational reformer Horace Mann is detailed, as is Mary's marriage to the writer Nathaniel Hawthorne. Tharp examines how these relationships influenced the sisters' lives and work, and the impact they had on the wider cultural scene of the time. One of the strengths of Tharp's literary analysis is her ability to paint a vivid picture of the social and cultural context in which the Peabody sisters lived. She details the political and social movements of the time, including the abolitionist movement and the fight for women's suffrage. Tharp also examines the economic changes that were happening in America, and how these changes impacted the Peabody sisters' lives and work. Tharp's prose is engaging and accessible, making the book an enjoyable and informative read. She expertly weaves together the different threads of the sisters' lives, painting a detailed and nuanced picture of their accomplishments and challenges. Tharp's literary analysis is not just a biography of the Peabody sisters, it is a broader exploration of the cultural and intellectual scene of the time and how the sisters' work intersected with these wider movements. Overall, The Peabody Sisters of Salem is an excellent literary analysis that offers a rich and detailed exploration of the lives of three remarkable women. Tharp's expert analysis provides insights into the sisters' contributions to American culture and society, and how their work intersected with the wider political, social, and economic movements of the time. The book is a must-read for anyone interested in American literature, art, 
and education, as well as anyone interested in the history of women's contributions to these fields.